Let's go over modding and installing custom executables on Linux games, because when it comes to Steam Deck and a lot of other systems, you can mod and run any executable that you want. It's just a little bit uh, weirder. <laughs> Different is what I'll say. Let's not waste any time. Get over the desktop and go over this. So the big thing I want to go over is taking those Steam games and customizing them. You could also use this uh, using Wine Tricks as well. Uh, it's just different ways of accomplishing the same thing. And there's also other utilities that are about that I think a lot of other people have actually talked about, uh, but like Steam Tinker Launch. Uh, that's an interesting one that's being developed. It's still a little finicky for me, but I think it's going to be fantastic here in like a year or two after it has a little more time to cook. Uh, but today we're going to do everything mainly through the CLI. Now I'm doing it directly from the people's GitHubs, so I don't really like to deviate too much from you know installing too much through the GUI mainly because things change and I want this to always work for you so most of the things I write I don't want to rely on a project I want you to just kind of teach you the basics of how things are structured having said that let's start installing proton tricks because that is going to be our install of the day I love this tool it's fantastic uh, so we're just going to do that and then we're going to use pip x to install it just like that and that should get us a proton tricks now you could install proton tricks to your package manager but a lot of times it is an older version so like if you I'm on Ubuntu here as a base uh, but Debian also is the same it's just going to be old if you're on mint and all those other distros it's going to be old so just copy paste this you'll be good on debian based distros other distros it, your mileage will vary but the first command i want to teach you is proton tricks l proton tricks l and this gives you a listing of everything now obviously we don't have wine tricks installed so needed to install that i'll add that into my installer so let's do a listing again. Ah, there we go. Much better. So now we got all the ones. We see these games are installed. You can see I'm kind of a little more retro gamer, I guess you could say, with some of these games. But like Cyberpunk 2077 has some really fantastic mods. Uh, EverQuest 2 doesn't really work out of the box in Steam, but we could fix that using these methods, which I'll, I'll showcase. Uh, Lord of the Rings Online has some fantastic plugins that we need. Witcher 3, of course, it got the new hd remodel so we might touch all these uh, let's come over to steam and you can see kind of the few things we have installed not too much but i just wanted to use these as a base remember you can use these methods to fix any game depending on these errors so i'm going to show you some errors and different mods and how to install mods I would just do Witcher 3 because that's probably what a lot of people watching this video want. But frankly, it's just extracted to the mods directory in Witcher 3. It's pretty simple. <laughs> well, I'll show it, but it's, again, nothing too more complex. But these older games have not as good compatibility. So EverQuest 2 is a fun one. Uh, we go to plug it, play this, and you might be playing some other game, and you're just going to get like a black screen or maybe a white screen. You know, this can, this can really deviate. What's going on here? You can kind of see as I come in and out, it's there, but it's just not showing me anything. How do we fix this with Proton Tricks? Uh, obviously, oh, look, you can even see there's some fields. It's just, again, not showing anything. So I'm going to quit that. Let's come back into here. And why we do this Proton Tricks L, you're going to use this command so much, just get used to it, is we want to know the number. So EverQuest 2 is not working. We'll just take that. So we're just going to copy that number right there. And we can now use Proton Tricks to modify that file. So right here, I think I was modifying Lord of the Rings online, but let's just fix up our EverQuest 2 with Wine Tricks, our app ID, and then core fonts. Whenever you have uh, just a white screen where you can kind of see some kind of fields there and it's just not displaying properly, Typically, it means the fonts just aren't there. And what Core Fonts does is it installs all the Windows fonts, like Arial, Times New Roman, all those. It just It's so much uh, better. And honestly, a lot of games, whenever you run into any kind of funky lettering, sometimes, I think it was like Grand Theft Auto on their launcher, it was like displaying weird or some things were just not 
uh, squished together or spread out too far, typically you always want to install core fonts and it's going to fix that. All right, and now it is finished. That took about three minutes to install. So let's close that out and come back into here. Let's hit the play button again. We did get a little bit of a logo and now we're back to the white screen. Sometimes it takes a little bit to render. So we saw a little bit of improvement, but still not great. So this time around, let's come into here. Instead of doing core fonts, let's just do Proton Tricks and then the ID of EverQuest 2 in this instance. But if you have another game, put it in here. And then we're just going to type dash dash GUI. What this is going to do is it should pop something up here. And we're going to just say select default. And then we can actually install components. This is really neat for kind of tweaking things out. A lot of times you're missing like a .NET framework. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do. Don't just check everything. That's just a recipe for disaster. But there's certain things that usually are problem childs for something like this. Usually what I do is come in and do like a .NET 4.8. And then another problem child usually is Visual C not being installed these libraries now i usually just do this one which is 2015 all the way through 2019 which usually has most of everything we need but if it's an older game like this we might just go back a little further and go you know what let's grab 2013 all the way usually 10 years gets you unless it's a really old game if you go 20 years old uh, which everquest 2 is getting close to 20 years old we could go even further back but a lot of times if these are still being made and maintained they've usually upgraded at least to 2010 so let's install some visual c and then that 4.8.net and see what happens okay so if you still have problems after doing those two things and you're like okay what's going on with the black screen come over to proton db check out the game obviously flip through there's always going to be someone like hey this command worked for me this command worked for me i usually look for the people that recommend proton ge because that's usually going to give you the best performance and this person just says hey use ge and then put this simple little add-in to everquest so if we go properties we can say compatibility it's under this ge version if you don't know about proton ge there's a cool tool called proton up very neat i need to probably run that it's been a little bit this is hey it's ready to download a new version hey i need to go ahead and do that i'm on still on like version 29 but this was just a pip install as well for proton up highly recommend it. it it auto installs all this for you as well and i think i had like an old video with that but i digress just copy this change this go into general put the tag in and then hit play and then you should see a full prompt here and yeah right now perfect everything's working great again i can hit play and we can even mod this out a little bit and show you how to run like executables because sometimes you want to do packet injection if sometimes you want to hack a game if you want to do all kinds of things you do like you would do on windows or if you just want to improve the stock layout these old games typically like the map just is terrible so let's hit play and this is the default layout kind of an old game but you get the idea eh, it's all right but let's go ahead and camp out and we're gonna fix the map section so it doesn't look just ugh, like this so for this game, I'm going to go to the EQ2 interface. Lotro has something kind of like this with like their plugin Compodium. So to install plugins to Lord of the Rings Online, you would use that. Uh, but this is the same process. I just want to show it. I'm going to download this. It fixes a lot of things. It basically makes the GUI a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer, adds some just quality of life features. But instead of just grabbing the GUI components, they have an executable here that is just fantastic. All right, from our downloads directory, you can see the zip file here. We're just going to do an unzip of it, and you have two executables. Now, obviously, we can't just click those executables. That doesn't work. This is where Proton Tricks comes in again. So we have Proton Tricks launch, and this makes it so where we can launch custom executables. So coming back to a little cheat sheet over here, I made a little guide. Proton Tricks launch dash dash app ID and then the app ID and then the executable. That's it. So let's come back to here. A uh, couple things before we do it. Let's get the full path name of the directory the executable's in because we're going to need that. 
Let's do Proton Tricks dash L to make sure we have the right ID. So EverQuest 2 is ID 201230. And then we can just go Proton Tricks dash launch. And then we're going to do dash dash app ID. And we're going to put the 201 ID. And then we need to do the full executable. So this is the entire path. And that should launch into our directory. So there's our directory. It says, hey, where's the EverQuest 2 main directory? This is where you can get a little bit lost depending on where you're at in your library. So we're gonna go into the Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then you should see EverQuest 2 in here. However, I wanted to make life difficult. I put it in a different uh, Steam library. So let me go to that one. And you can see this long Steam directory. I should get rid of this Steam library and just have that unified one in my home folder. But I like pain, so hopefully you didn't do what I did. All right, now let's just go full screen with this so you can kind of see everything I'm doing. Uh, yeah, do these automatically. So it says download the custom interface, set up the characters, set up the default youth font, and then do this cool UI map and everything. It's kind of awesome. So it add POI, all kinds of stuff. And I think we were using Zika's. Let's just install it for him. And we're all set up. Great. So we hit OK. We're done. And I'm just going to relaunch the game just so you can see the difference between like the map and the GUI and know that this executable ran. OK, did a couple settings with the new UI. Obviously, got a little bit more going on. And then we actually have a map with all the POIs for this entire zone. That's awesome. And you can even set waypoints all that it just makes things so much easier on yourself when playing an older game like this now i also did this obviously i talked about lord of the rings online uh witcher 3 is another one that's pretty cool with the a lot of the new ones its mods are actually pretty easy you can just download them and drop them directly in if you forget where these files are just come into here click local files and click browse and what that's going to do is it's going to show you exactly where everything is and we have some mods. These are the mods I rock for Witcher 3. Auto loot, because who wants to actually pick stuff up? Auto apply oils, because I'm super lazy. Fast travel, because I'm also lazy and I don't want to run everywhere. Uh, just all those things, no weight limit. I know, I'm a big cheater, but I just kind of want to make my life easier. And when I play games, I just want to have fun and I don't want to think about a lot of stuff. So there's other ways to do this too. If you want to get into Vortex, Mod Manager, those times, check out Steam Tinker Launch. It's still in the early days and they're still working out some stuff, but it's very good for those that want to use a lot of Nexus mod type things. I thought that was a really cool addition. There's other tools that are being built. So stay tuned. It's just really interesting to see these mods and how they're 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 captivated and installed in linux some of it's gotten easier some of it is just easier on linux sometimes i see tools being built for it like in lord of the rings instance they actually have a, a linux version i didn't show it here because well it, it runs native and it just uses java so <laughs> it's pretty easy you don't need a setup just click and run uh, and a lot of things are like that now but I wanted to show the more complex stuff when you do run into issues because nobody really follows me to know how to download and open something it's just easy a lot of times but when it's not I wanted to walk through a more complex game like EverQuest 2 that just was all kinds of messed up and I wanted to mod it out and I wanted to do all these things I was like this sucks but I at least want to make a video. So if you run into these types of issues with other games, you can do the same thing, know how to uh, troubleshoot and then overcome it and play your favorite game without having to boot into Windows. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.